business of the church has become more complicated, demanding that pastors sometimes act more like a CEO than a pastor. And many church leaders think that churches are automatically exempt or protected from many business requirements. Unfortunately, this is not the case. And the fact is that churches can face sanctions and penalties for non-compliance. And these penalties can turn into the tens of thousands of dollars. Yes, there are some things that churches are indeed exempt from, but the danger is when we assume. I have found that either churches tend to rely on poor sources for their advice, or they frankly do not want to pay for proper services. Many church leaders have the thought that because they are a church, they should not have to pay for these services, that someone in the congregation should step up and do it for free. The problem is, is that we often get what we pay for. As I have worked with churches, there are a few issues that I have found to be common among them. And I have attempted to introduce a highlight or two concerning some of these subjects in the Money Matters workshop that we did at our last district council. Subjects such as the Affordable Care Act, a very complicated piece of legislation, or paying stipends. Just because you call it a stipend does not mean that the person you are paying is not an employee. And there are other payroll issues, such as workman's compensation, which is a requirement by law. And non-compliance could mean penalties reaching the tens of thousands of dollars. I personally think that a church should strongly consider subscribing to a payroll service. Not doing payroll correctly and not paying taxes timely can produce personal liabilities to the pastor, to each board member, even to anyone who is down as a check signer. Some serious exposure there. Even issues of internal control need to be addressed, not only for the safeguarding of cash and other church assets, but for the protection of the pastor and the board and even the staff. I presented an outline with some resources to help make you better aware of some of these issues. As always, I am available to help answer questions and to always and also make recommendations where to get the answers. If we keep our house in order, we will not have to worry about the government or other agencies looking over our shoulder. Please take these issues seriously and do not hesitate to ask for help. Thank you.